if you're one of those people out there that owns a gun, well, you've just been one up by the police again. But this time, they're putting bullets in the front of their car, like in the spy movies. You, you see James Bond driving down the road, and he's got panels that go open up, and something shoots out the front. With this, this is an actual thing. Unfortunately, it doesn't just open up. It's a pan, The panel is there marked all the time. You, you can't miss it. But this bullet is not just an ordinary, you know, like a cannon shell bullet. This is called a smart bullet, and it's being used by police today. What it does is it shoots out the front of the car. And if you're chasing somebody, they don't want to endanger people around them. It shoots out a tracking device and it sticks right to the car. Then they can back off and they can, you know, follow them from a safe distance because it, it follows it by GPS. And these people who are, who've been, you know, jacked a car or drunk driving, whatever, they don't even know that it's been attached to their car. So they can they figure oh we we got away we got away ha ha and then the cops can come along and find you a little bit later Joe your thoughts yeah there is a whole market on the internet run by shady people who sell bullshit products designed to foil police technology mm-hmm. they make plastic shields that go over your license plate to make it invisible to traffic cams mm-hmm. cream to make your cars invisible to laser speed detection um, if the police were to start using this. Uh, stick on GPS bullets in in mass in everywhere. Uh, I'm I'm joining the crowd. I'm gonna I'm gonna make some loot. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna market a car wax that makes the GPS bullets slide off your car. <laughs> you gangster, you Joe. All, gangster. All I, need, all I need is some some jars. Design a slick label, and I need a whole lot of Vaseline. <laughs> Joe's no I, bullets. Stick them. Buy yours I, today. I, I, <laughs> I'm going to get rich. I'm going to be making the Benjamins. <laughs> <laughs> Word. You know, the thing is, I don't know how exactly how they stick. If it sticks like a, a glue light substance or is it uh, is it magnets? You know, I, I don't know. But it, by the way this bullet looks, it looks like it's some kind of foam at the front of it. It's about the – judging by the pictures, what I, I've been judging, I, I guess it's about three and a half inches diameter from the center. That that's pretty big. That that's a that's a considerable shell. Now, if this thing were to miss fire or they miss their target, I'd want, I'd be worried about if it hits somebody actually out on the road. Connie, your thoughts? Well, I think when I watched the video, it looked like it was magnetic. Mm-hmm. But they're trying to assure everybody. You know, the um, the company that produces this is called Star Chase. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's already in like four states. Uh, mm. Well, not, not all over the state, but police um, in Iowa, Florida, Arizona, and Colorado have already implemented this in some form on their vehicles. But what I don't understand, too, is it says that it's supposed to be secure internet connections on this thing. And I'm going, everything that's on the internet is hackable. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Just like Joe said. So, yeah. <laughs> The the point though is to try and avoid police chasing suspects and then creating more mayhem basically you know right. more more uh, and, and that's actually a a scary statistic that I found the FBI stats says that one of every one hundred chases by a police officer ends in a fatality most times police mm-hmm. it it's, it's just because they pull somebody over for a a driving infraction or a question and forty two percent of the deaths are innocent third parties. Oh yeah, yeah, because uh, they're, they're trying to yeah. get these people are trying to get away from these madmen or these people who are just they're just uh, sometimes it's just a, a scared teenager yeah. doesn't know what to do exactly, and he just like oh my god, I got, what do I do? And then just takes off, and then then they end up either hitting somebody else, hitting a car, hitting pedestrians, or if you've seen some of the videos, they're trying when they try to get away, they use a pit maneuver on them. Or and there, there have been instances where they're following. I remember this was one particular video. They followed this guy in a a, a really sports car thing. He ends up hitting a truck, a semi truck, and the car <laughs> basically disintegrates. I mean, it doesn't. Oh, you yeah. know, and and he somehow managed to get up and continue running out of the car. So yeah. 
at well, that point you just let him go. <laughs> well, you that, survived that, that you're free to go, you know. That that when but that's the point is that should should the police just let them go and and it seems like it's this massive show of force and respect my authority mm-hmm. is what the police are really doing and I don't mean to imp, you know give people who have bad motives you know a free pass but you know like in 2012 in Cleveland Ohio there were five dozen squad cars involved in a high-speed chase 75 patrol officers they wound and and granted the people inside that vehicle were guilty of in some infractions but Mm -hmm. none of them were murderers right there were 137 shots fired and the uh, driver and the passenger were killed and I'm just like that you know and and that, and again that's that's kind of on the other end of the scale yeah as an example of but you know when when police when police engage chase they adrenaline yes. kicks in yes exactly and then they so. they, they they lose perspective cuz they they get yes, this, they, they get do. this cop mentality got to get him got to get him got to get him and you know right. i got to bring him in got to bring him in you know it's <laughs> a, it's a got to bring him in mentality and if they don't bring him in then they feel like they've failed in some way so yeah. this this tunnel forms and all they see is the back of the car they're chasing. Mhm. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. But I think in some ways, I mean, I I think this would might hopefully eliminate some of those chases, but I don't know. I mean, it it is being used in several states as you said, Connie. Yeah. But there was one comment that was on the page I thought was kind of strange. It said there are other ways to tra- track vehicles and this could raise some civil liberty issues i don't see how i mean I, if they're misusing it maybe. yeah if they're mis- being misused right. right but if it if it's being used properly because these things are not like you know you go down the store you can buy you know a box a bag of them for like 10 bucks these things are 500 dollars a piece that's just for the shell the, right. the the gun itself is five grand so it's wow. not it, yeah so if they were going to install this I mean, yeah, government's got almost unlimited pockets, but if well, they... but it's implied in the article too, Packard, that the more office, the more police officers that use this, it'll drive down the price. But again, right. are we implementing it correctly? Right. Is there a chance of the thing being deployed and hitting the wrong vehicle? Oh Have, yeah, there's know... that possibility too. Right. Right, but no, it. it it would be wonderful if it works. I'm right. sorry to interrupt you, though. Oh, no, just, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, no, I agree. If it, if it works, if it's, and if it's mm-hmm. used properly, but like any technology or anything else in this crazy life that we live, it can be misused. I can, I can see some reasonable ways that it could be misused and raise some, I guess. Uh, but I think overall, or blocked. Yeah. What's that? I'm sorry? Or blocked. Or blocked, right. Yeah, oh, yeah I think yeah. that would be the best way to beat it would be uh, some mm-hmm. kind of GPS jamming device. Oh, yeah, that's it, yeah. They that's make simple true. devices that can jam all cell phones in, in like, you know, the 10 feet around you. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know? And, uh, yeah, yeah, people, like, you know, take them on. When those first came out, people would use them on, like, buses and subways and, like, you know, mm-hmm. they'd be annoyed that people were talking on their phones, so they would turn it on and make everybody's oh. phone go silent. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, What I happened? Mean, <laughs> I lost all my signal here. <laughs> How much harder would it be to to make something like that that would jam GPS? Oh yeah, all it takes is one industrious person to get a hold of just one of these shells, just one. I mean, if they could, if they can buy them from the company directly, even you know they just they wouldn't all, even need to do that. They just have to have an understanding of the GPS signal. Right. Well, we don't. Well, once you get into that bandwidth, then boom, you're good. Oh, that's true. But I mean, what if the, the it's using a, a a GPS signal that we don't know about? You know, because the government doesn't tell us everything that they do. Um, yeah. So but, then, and, oh. yeah. I was also thinking, like, like let's say you you're in the car that's being chased, and you hear the thud. You're in a state where you know the police have this, and you hear that thud on the back of your car. It's like boom, and you're like, ah, oh, they got me. And so they start mm-hmm. hanging back, hanging back, hanging back. They're just gonna get you when you pull in your driveway. You pull over somewhere. You pull the thing off. You throw it on a passing truck, and you take off. <laughs> well, that's I actually thought about that. I'm wondering if the the what it makes it connect if it's like a really hard glue that needs a special dissolver that, that needs yeah, to come Yeah, that off. would be the only way. Yeah. That That's you, why you need to buy Joe and Scene's GPS bulletproof <laughs> turtle wax. 
<laughs> those that shit just slides buy, right you off. You buy it in the next ten minutes, you'll get. We'll knock twenty dollars off the price. You buy. You give you two of them. You just have to pay separate shipping and handling. <laughs> and we'll do we'll throw in the sham wow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sham wow. <laughs> you know those. You know those Germans. They don't make anything great or bad, really. They just, you know. I'm sorry. Is it <laughs> German the sham- made? <laughs> no, the sham. No, I'm talking about the sham was. Never mind. Forget it. I was. I'm, I was kind of imitating the sham wall guy. He's like, yeah. You know, and it, never mind. Forget it. You'd have to see the commercial. That guy is the, hilarious. Yes, I know what you mean. Mm-hmm. Look up sham remix on right. YouTube. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes.